Windows 8.1 is the hot new operating system from Microsoft that's designed to appease and improve upon some of the criticisms that last year's Windows 8 was met with. There are many changes in Windows 8.1, some of them you'll love and some of them you might hate. This is Adam Lane from Pocket Now, and in this video I'm going to talk about the 8 things I hate about Windows 8.1. But be sure to also check out the 8 things I love about Windows 8.1. Number one, having to choose which window pane to launch apps into. With Windows 8, it was very predictable that when you tapped a new app on the start screen, it would open in the larger window pane area right away. Now with Windows 8.1, a thumbnail icon of your app appears on the border of a window pane edge and then tilts back and forth. That's supposed to indicate to you that you have to choose where it should load and you touch the side that you want it to go to. Optionally, you can push the icon to the top to load it full screen. Number two, the Photos app. This has been completely changed from the Windows 8 version, and mostly it's worse. No longer does it show photo albums from Facebook or Flickr accounts, nor does it allow you to browse photo libraries found on any of your other PCs associated with your Microsoft ID. Basically, you can only look at your local and SkyDrive photos now. What's worse is that all the thumbnails crop the actual images so that you can't see the important parts. Everything is cropped to a horizontal rectangle around the center of the image. That means for portrait photos, all you can see is the person's chest. You can't see their facial expression because it's cropped. Number three, the messaging app is gone. Windows 8 came with an app called Messaging, which was a great place to manage all of your instant messaging threads between Facebook and live messenger chats. It looked like it could even be expanded to support Skype and Google Chat. Actually, if you go to Outlook.com, the web-based messaging pane there, does support Live Messenger, Google Chat, Facebook Chat, and Skype all at the same time. It's really pretty nice. Too bad that's not on Windows 8.1. Number four, the calendar app doesn't work with Exchange 2003 anymore. Microsoft seems to have problems supporting its own products as well as its competitors sometimes. In Windows 8.1, the calendar app will download data from an Exchange 2003 account, but it can't edit it or add to it. Luckily, I've worked with the developers and a fix for this should be coming any day now. Number five, the People app no longer shows who's online. Since the instant messaging integration was dropped, there's no central location to see all of your friends that are online and available to chat. Instead, you need separate apps and keep track of them separately. It's a big step backwards. Number six, if you're in desktop mode and you want to send a file from the file explorer via email, normally you could right click the file and choose send to mail recipient. That should open a new mail message with the selected files attached. It doesn't work with Windows 8.1's email program though. You get an error message instead. Number seven, the calendar app doesn't open iCal files and doesn't integrate with Facebook events. I often use and am invited to events on Facebook. With Windows Phone, these invites show up right in my calendar and I can respond to them there. It's very nicely integrated. On Windows 8.1, there's no such luck. In order to get them to my Exchange calendar, I have to export the events from the Facebook web page as iCal files, but they do not open in the native calendar app, so I need to have Outlook installed in order to handle such a seemingly basic function. Number eight, tasks in Exchange accounts don't sync. There's actually no interface included with Windows 8.1 for managing tasks as part of your Exchange account. You'll have to install the full version of Outlook to get that. Yes, that means the iPad includes better support for Exchange server accounts than Windows 8.1 does. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to also watch the 8 things I love about Windows 8.1.